hello friends welcome back to the tutorial in the last tutorial we have seen how we can create a function to display the error message so uh, let's uh, style this message to display this uh, message correctly mm, and give it some margins and some color here I have uh, some styles written uh, these are the styles that will apply uh, they are giving a color with code AE 4 times 0 and a margin of uh, 3 pixels top and then 0 0 pixel left and 0 pixel right then a margin of 5 pixel down the, we set this um, class to the P element so it will get all these stylings so let's see how we can do this also uh, we if will give a red border to the input field uh, if it has some errors so we'll set this um, class to the input field let's see how we can do that here is the code or here is the function so below this uh, create element where we are creating the p tag will set the class so para dot set attribute attribute is the class so class next the attribute name name is the I think it is message warning so copy it from here and paste it like this so it sets the class of to this p element next we want to add a red border to the input element so to do this mm, will use this ID of the input field document dot get element by ID ID is the field ID dot mm, class name class name then plus we are adding a class to the uh, existing class attribute so we have to use the class name then the class name we want to add is the warning first mm, give it a space here so it adds the uh, new class name if you don't give it a space then it will replace all the existing class names a space first give it a space here then add the name of the class that is warning border then save it semicolon now let's see what it will do refresh the page now see it will give a border and, and displays the error message with some stylings in this way we can style the error message so thank you for watching in the next tutorial we'll see some other aspects of improving this function thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and also share my videos and comment below the video if you have any doubts we'll meet in the next tutorial